The venture capital method for valuation is used by venture capitalists. To understand when this method is used and why, we need to understand what venture capitalists are. There are two kinds of early stage investors that might be using this technique. We have angel investors and venture capitalists. Both of these are investing into small companies with the intention of helping them to grow. So the idea is that these investors give money, but it's smart money because usually they give money, contacts and, and knowledge and other things, help recruiting and so on. They can also organize more funding for the company in, in future round. The difference between angel investors and venture capitalists is that angel investors are wealthy individuals. Typically they have made a fortune in business and then they either want to um, invest to help other smaller companies to realize their dreams or they simply want to invest their money to, uh, to get profits for their existing wealth. Venture capitalists on the other hand are professional investors. They typically don't invest their own money but instead they collect a fund from, from other wealthy individuals organizations and then they invest from that fund. The venture capitalist typically has an ex the fund has a planned expiration date when the fund uh, returns the money to the owners. For example, if the fund is active for seven years, then it means that if an investor invests, venture capitalist invests into a company in the first year, then uh, they should be uh, exiting before the seventh year so that they can actually return the money. Angel investors typically invest smaller amounts than venture capitalists and venture capitalists can invest substantial amounts through syndication when different venture capitalists join forces and for example invest in a second or third round when the size of the investment can be tens or hundreds of millions of euros or dollars. Let's take a look at how these kinds of investors value entrepreneur companies. The important things in valuations are the, uh, the due diligence. So when an investor, a venture capitalist or angel investor decides to do an investment, they will do uh, this process of, of due diligence where the companies are analyzed in detail and the valuation is developed. It involves also com considering all kinds of possible risks. So you look at founders, you look at legal aspects, markets, finances, what kind of people there are, and importantly, you look at the exit strategy. So a venture capitalist eventually needs to sell their shares and they need to do that with high profits, at least for some of their investments. The reason for that is that the companies or individuals who invested in the venture capitalist capital fund want to get their money back with interest at some point. So the exit strategy is something that we need to consider in venture capital financing. The idea of an exit is also important in the venture capital valuation method. The venture capital valuation could look like that. So most people know venture capitalists from the show Shark's Tank or Lion's Den or Dragon's Den, depending on, on which country you happen to live in. And in this show, these angel investors uh, propose investments to entrepreneurs who pitch their ideas and uh, they talk about valuation, pre-money valuation, post-money va money valuation and that kind of things. Where do these numbers come from? What is pre-money valuation? What is post-money valuation? When we look at the valuation of a company, this is from Juhani Ratika in a slide, the idea of a company value that it's uh, enterprise value, which is the uh, value of the assets, value of the business and so on, and then it's cash and equivalents. When we have a large company, buying a smaller company, they typically look at valuating this enterprise value here and then they just take the cash to themselves. With venture capital funding, the, it's a bit different because venture capitalists typically inject money into the investment. They don't take money from, from the investment target like larger companies would do, but they give money to the investment target to help that to grow. So when we look at venture capital funding and venture capital valuation, we need to look at this thing. So, so uh, a share gives you ownership of this full thing, the enterprise value and also the cash. So if you have one share and then uh, one out of 100, then there is money in the bank, one hundredth of that money is yours. So share gives you ownership of the money. And this is the pre-money valuation. 
when a venture capitalist invests into the company, they typically don't give the money to the owners. Instead, it's issued as new stock and the money that they invest goes into the target company. So when venture capitalist invests, there is more money in the company. So we have new investment here and this new investment, this new money that the venture capitalist gave is part of the post money valuation. So the difference between the pre-money valuation and post-money valuation is the amount of, of money that the venture capitalist invested in the company. We need the pre-money valuation and the post-money valuation both when we calculate valuations for, un, for venture capital financing. How a venture capital method works is that you basically uh, start by estimating the exit value, the XE here. So how much money how, what would be the valuation of the company if everything goes well and the company is able to sell itself to a, a larger company in the same industry or able to do an IPO. So we need to determine the exit value. Then we discount the exit value to the current time. So the venture capitalist method does not really take into account what happens be, be, uh, between the investment and the exit because that's considered to be unimportant, the company will not do uh, issue dividends anyway because they want to invest all the money that they get into growing to get the exit value as high as possible. So the company does not really produce any value to their investors directly before the exit. So the exit is the time where the venture capitalist realizes the profit. Then pre-money valuation is simply uh, the post-money valuation calculated from the exit value by discounting minus the investment. And uh, if you want to know uh, how much share you will get, then you can divide the investment by the post-money valuation. So that's where the 10% comes from, pre-money valuation, post-money valuation, and the amount of investment. The exit value is typically calculated based on IPO value. So if the company will be stock listed, the venture capitalist will uh, ca do an estimate of how much this, the value of that company would be on the stock markets. How much uh, the trade save value would be. So if we sell a, uh, a small software company to Google or Microsoft, how much would, a Google, or micro would Google or Microsoft pay for it? And then we can also apply terminal value discounted cash flow method and uh, this would be uh, the scenario where it's not clear who would buy the company, but perhaps the, the current owners will buy out the, the venture capitalist. But these three techniques are being applied to calculate the terminal or the exit value in the venture capitalist values. Venture capitalists require a large uh, profit. So the, the rate of return must be substantially higher than 10 or 15 percent that a normal investor would get. The reason for that is that venture capitalist investments are high risk. So a venture capitalist thinks that if everything goes well, maybe one out of 10 of their portfolio companies is a big success. And they aim for getting their money back tenfold in, for example, five years. So if you have the equation for tenfold increase and you calculate how, how much um, the, the value of the company would need to increase every year to produce a tenfold increase in five years, you can calculate the raw here and it's going to be 0 0.58. So you need to have almost 60% uh, return rate for every year and then you discount using that return rate. The reason for these high rates are that most venture capital funded companies fail and those failed companies are considered worthless for the venture capitalist. Only those companies that actually successfully exit make, some, make the money for the venture capitalist and other, all the other eggs in the basket are just uh, not valuable at all because the venture capitalist can't sell them for a good profit. Summary of the venture capital method. So the idea of venture capital method is that you ex estimate the exit value. There are different techniques for doing so. You discount the current value, discount to current value to get post money valuation. You subtract the investment to get pre money valuation. And this technique makes a couple of assumptions. First, no dividends before exit. And that's because all the money that is, comes in needs to be invested to growth and failed companies valued at zero. 
Sometimes this technique is used with different scenarios. So you might calculate a scenario, quick win, where there is an, an early exit with 20 million euros, a bit later exit with 80 million euros, and an exit that is longer than the venture capitalist would like to have for 40 million euro or dollar. Then we calculate the probability of these different scenarios and we, we weight the different probabilities, we take the weighted sum and there we have our uh, expected value. This is the post money valuation. If there's a flop, the company can be sold, its value is going to be zero and this model estimates that complete failure to be a 50% probability. So this is the venture capitalist method in a nutshell. You estimate the, the exit value, you discount it the current value, and that gives the, the post-money valuation. You subtract the investment, that gives the pre-money valuation. 